Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a really quick video. I just wanted to make a sit down kind of thing, answered a lot of the questions that you guys left on my previous two videos. So you guys asked me a lot of questions about my relaxed hair, what products I use, how long I've been relaxed, how long do I stretch my relaxers for, and a lot of questions. So basically I'm just making this video to basically answer all of those. So to start things off, you guys asked me how long I've been relaxed for. I've been relaxed for I think maybe 10 years, 10, 11 years. I've been relaxed for a very long time because I had my first relaxer when I was a child. So it's been a quite some time. The second question was about how long I stretch my relaxers for. So usually I would stretch them till about four to six months. It all depends. If I have a weave-in and I don't have to deal with my hair as much, I can stretch it to about five or six months. Mainly because my hair is in a weave and I don't have to deal with the breakage and the line of demarcation, all of that stuff. I don't have to deal with it. But if my hair is out, I only leave it for about four months because honestly, I don't have the patience. And I also got like one question asking me how often do I trim my hair? So I'm one of those people who love to trim their hair because I prefer healthy looking hair over length. So my goal really isn't to grow my hair, it's more so to have healthier hair. So I will trim my hair pretty often. I just did my trim recently and I filmed a video on that. I'll link it if you guys want. But this is what my hair looks like. It's like freshly trimmed. And I just love when it's like this, just really healthy and full looking, because this is always my goal. I don't really care about length as much. I would definitely love my hair to grow really, really long, but if it's not going to grow and be like this, I don't want it, I'll be okay. The next um, questions I got were about products that I use. I have quite a few stuff, you probably can see in the back mirror there, but I have a whole bunch of products right now, so I'm gonna show you guys what I use. But before I show you guys those products, I just wanna say that most times I get my hair done, I do go to the salon. I don't always do my hair at home. So I'm not really sure what products they use, but whatever they use, it really, really works. The salon that I go to, their products are, the labels aren't on the bottles. And I've seen that in a few places. I don't know why they do that. I don't know if it's because they don't want you to buy the products and get the same results at home because then you won't come to the salon anymore. Or maybe they have their own brands. I don't know. I really don't know. So they always ask me if I want the $10 conditioner or the $5 one. Usually when I say the $10 one, they always give me like a Afoji conditioner or the silicone mix or some kind of brands like that that I can recognize. And if it's the $5 one, they just use a random one usually. And the lady that does my hair washing, she always knows what treatment to use because she will look at my hair and see if I'm having a lot of breakage and if I need a protein treatment or a moisture treatment. So I'm very grateful because I don't know how to determine those things. So I'm happy that she knows how because it's just easier. Okay, so after I get my conditioner, I sit under a steamer that helps to get let the conditioner, you know, soak in my hair. Afterwards, they wash that out and they give me a roller set. And then I basically sit on an, under the dryer for about 45 to 50 minutes, after which she will blow my roots and wrap my hair up or give me pin curls. All right, so to get into the products that I use when I'm at home. So for shampoo, I like to use the Tresemme shampoo this is the luxurious moisture collection also have the matching conditioner for it as well the product that's very new to my collection i used this when i washed my hair um the other day and i am completely obsessed with it so i've used the aussie brand before but never this one this is the total miracle seven in one conditioner and um, it's with apricot and Australian macadamia oil. So the next product that I picked up, and I've used this before, this is my go-to. This is the Sunny Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil. 
Honestly, guys, this smells awful, but it's so good for you. I put this on my brows, my eyelashes, but I'm not wearing extensions, of course. So in my sleek bun video, you guys saw that my edges were kind of thinning. So I've been using this at nights, every night, and like massage it in like so. Just because I hear that this grows your hair, and I actually love this product. I, I use this as a pre-poo, so I use this in my hair with coconut oil before I go to the salon, just to coat my hair and get it nice and ready for, you know, the washing and everything like that. Next product I have is the Chesame Heat Tamer. This is a leave-in spray. You guys need to have a heat protectant, guys. I don't really use as much heat on my hair. I use heat maybe twice a month, and that's when I go to get my hair done at the salon. I don't put heat on my hair. I just don't do it. Next two things I'm going to show you are my babies. I completely love this product. This is the Argan Oil of Morocco, and then this is the Coconut Oil, and it's a, this is... The, uh, weightless hydrating oil mist and it's just helped to just make your hair look healthier and just give it a nice shine and it doesn't weigh down your hair so I love that I just love that so much this one is one one that I've showed you guys before this is just um, I guess it's the same same thing but this is to help with like tame your flyaway and frizzies and to help prevent split ends so Love that. Next product I have here, which I've seen in so many relaxed hair videos, I had to get it. I only used it once, so I don't really know about its benefits or anything. But this is the Balancing Moisturizer. It's to, it infuses moisture, improves manageability, softness, and shine. And this is the Afoji thingy here. I hear this. Why is it doing this? I hear this is really, really good, so I just picked that up. I only used it once, and I used it incorrectly. I thought it was supposed to go in your hair, like, after you're done with washing as, like, a leave-in. But you were supposed to rinse it out, and I didn't, so. Next up, I have my hair pudding. This is my edge control. Edge control. I don't really use those gooey stuff anymore. I just don't like how my hair feels sticky and nasty after. So I use this. And I just use this to slick down my edges when I, you know, when I do my hair. I don't use it now because my hair is pretty soft, so it stays where I put it. But when my hair is getting kind of dirty and not really behaving, then I'll go in with some hair pudding, you know? Next product I have here is my Africa's Best Super Grow. So the perm I used to use was Africa's Best, but I since then switched to olive oil because the salon that I go to to wash my hair they also do my perm and they don't have Africa's best there so I switched over to olive oil and I'm very pleased like my hair loves it so that's good but this is the super grow hair and scalp conditioner I use this very rarely but I use it to moisturize my scalp this is this is the only thing that I put on my scalp I don't I don't put anything else because I really, really like this and it helps to eliminate dryness and breakage. My hair breaks mostly in my crown area, so I just put this in this area on occasions as well as my castor oil and massage it in. But my hair is super clean now and freshly done, so I don't want to put any grease now because I don't want to have to wash my hair sooner than I would like to. And the last few things I want to touch on is just like combs, guys. Always use a white oh, always use a white tooth comb because you're gonna get get less breakage and shedding that way. I am one of those people who love a tail comb, okay? But I have to leave them alone because I struggle with breakage and I'm just trying to use like you know bigger combs because it's just like a lot better. So bigger combs is the way to go. Alright guys, so you've reached the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll be sure to answer them. And thanks as always for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video.